हेलो गाइस सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाय जूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो यू मस्ट हैव सीन द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल व्हिच वाज कॉमन फॉर मैकेनिकल एंड सिविल द टॉपिक वाज सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्सेस वर्सेस सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्सेस सो गाइस सिमिलरली टुडे आई एम हियर फॉर द सेकंड एपिसोड एंड दिस इज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स and this time we are going to see the difference between thermodynamic cycles and mechanical cycles so my dear whenever we come across thermal engineering we study the subjects like basic thermodynamics refrigeration and air conditioning ic engineer and power plant engineering we come across a number of cycles like auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle rankine cycle vapor compression cycle vapor absorption cycle okay so there are many rankine cycle breton cycle open cycle breton close cycle breton so guys we go with a number of cycles so today we will be differentiating that out of all those cycles which of the cycles are said to be the thermodynamic cycles and which of the other remaining which are said to be the mechanical cycle so for that we must know the difference between that what are the characteristics of thermodynamic cycles and what are the characteristics of mechanical cycle so my dear we are going to start with this let us start the session so my dear this is some detail about me i am having around 10 plus years of experience okay so around 10 plus years of experience and guys these are my areas of expertise engineering mechanics strength of material theory of machines machine design industrial production and guys when we are talking about today's topic that is also going to help us in interviews also okay so it is also going to help us in interviews so my dear the very first thing we are going to discuss air is the thermodynamic cycle what are the characteristics of thermodynamic cycles so my dear when we are talking about the thermodynamic cycles there are two major characteristics that in thermodynamic cycles when we are going for a working fluid that working fluid do not change its chemical composition like if you are putting some h2o then my dear this complete cycle it is going to remain h2o its composition is not going to be changing this is the first characteristic of a thermodynamic cycle and my dear when we are talking about the second characteristic when we are using some working fluid and its composition is not changing throughout the cycle then why do change working fluid in the second cycle we can use the same working fluid in the second cycle third cycle fourth cycle why because it remained the same its chemical composition is not going to change so my dear these are the two major characteristics of any thermodynamic cycle that is working fluid does not change its composition and its same working fluid we will be using for the number of cycles so my dear now we will see some of the examples and i will be showing you that yes whatever the condition i have mentioned is going to be there and for example i have considered the very first cycle to be rankine cycle so my dear you know about steam power plants so there we are going to use the rankine cycle you know first of all we are having boiler and in this boiler we are having water so when we keep water inside the boiler and we just provide heat to it my dear that water water is going to be converted into superheated steam it will be converting into superheated steam so my dear if you talk about water it was h2o when we are talking about superheated steam it is also h2o and my dear then superheated steam is going to the turbine we are going to take some work output using the turbine from that superheated steam and my dear after that that after that when you are going to take work output from that now the low enthalpy steam is going to the condenser and when it is going to condenser my dear now we will be converting it into water by condensing it hai na so heat will be taken out so my dear once again in the condenser you are making it water and then also it will be h2o and then my dear after that using the pump you will be increasing the pressure and my dear work input will be given to this so my dear once again when you are going to pump it is also going to remain water at high pressure you can say and the same with the cycle is going to complete and my dear if you see the throughout cycle 
there is one chemical composition that is H2O. Chemical composition is not going to change. When it was in boiler, it was H2O. When it was in turbine, it was H2O. When it was in condenser, it was H2O. When it was in pump, via pump, it was going to boiler, it was H2O. So as chemical composition is not changing, that's why we are using the same working fluid throughout the other cycle. So Rankine cycle comes under the category of thermodynamic cycles. My dear, this is a very important question for interview. I have faced this question many times. Now, my dear, we are talking about thermodynamic cycle, ideal Brayton cycle. I have mentioned ideal Brayton cycle. So Brayton cycle is of two types. One is open, other is closed. So when we are talking about closed cycle, it comes under the thermodynamic cycle. So when we are talking about what is going on, you know that here air would be there and air would be compressed in the compressor. So you are having air and air is having some composition. It will be having nitrogen, oxygen and many gases. So my dear, then that air is getting compressed and after compression, it is going to be the going to enter into the heat exchanger. And in this heat exchanger, my dear, you will be providing, you will be providing some heat input. Yes, if you will be taking the heat, when you are talking about uh, heat, it will be coming from combustion only. But combustion is happening somewhere else. From there, we are taking heat and giving heat input only. So just by giving heat into that, that compressed air will be getting the heat, but by that its composition is not going to change. So my dear, air is going to remain air in the second stage also. So my dear, after taking the heat, when it will be going to the turbine for the work output purpose, my dear, at that time also, it is going to be expanded and you will be taking the work output and after expansion also chemical composition will not be changing. It is going to remain air only. Then once again for heat output to complete the cycle, my dear, you will be taking it to once again a heat exchanger and heat would be taken out. Okay. I am just showing the schematic diagram just to make you understand what are the processes going on. And my dear, once again the air would be going to the compressor. So in all the processes, air is going to remain air. But yes, if in place of giving heat here, you would be making here a combustion chamber and if combustion would be happening, then the air will not remain air. Combustion will happen and composition of air will change because many exhaust gases would be added. Maybe some sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, all these gases would be there if you will be providing combustion chamber in place of heat exchanger. So then it will not be remaining the closed Brayton cycle, that it will become open Brayton cycle. So we are talking about closed or ideal Brayton cycle when we are going to complete this cycle, you can say. And my dear, in this, only heat is coming in, heat is coming out. So there is no change of chemical composition. So my dear, it will also comes under thermodynamic cycle. My dear, I would like to tell you, whenever we are talking about this topic, majority of the student have a feel that when we are talking about mechanical cycle, it means cycles related to ice engine. They have that thing in their mind. But the thing is not like that. I will be telling you how because definition is entirely different. It is not like that. So my dear, now let us talk about thermodynamic cycle VCR. So till now we have seen two cycles from power plant. Now we are entering into the cycle of refrigeration, RAC. So if you see VCR cycle, my dear, you know that how the things are going on. Let us say you would be using some refrigerant. You would be using some refrigerant R12. Okay, in your home, refrigerators are there. And if you remember that whenever you are using that refrigerator from last 8-10 years, you have never uh, supplied R12 separately because it is already going inside. Means you need not to change the working fluid ever. Why you need not to change the working fluid? Because the working fluid's composition is not going to change. So if you are putting R12, it will be going from evaporator to expansion valve, expansion valve to condenser, condenser to compressor. Likewise, okay, so this is how the cycle is going to be there. Evaporator to compressor, compressor to condenser, condenser to expansion valve. So, sorry, <laughs> it is going to be in this way. So, my dear, in this way, the cycle is going to be completed because when we are talking about refrigeration cycle, refrigeration cycles are going to be anticlockwise. Why they are anticlockwise? Because they are work consuming cycles. Because when we are talking about power plant cycle, they are work producing cycle, they are work consuming cycle. So, we will show them obviously opposite, okay? 
so sorry for this but when we are towing, uh, talking about this type of cycle when i am saying vcr vapor compression refrigeration so my dear in this cycle you can see one thing that when you will be using some refrigerant r12 when this r12 is in condenser its composition is r12 only and when it is going to be in evaporator then also its composition is going to remain same but it will be condensed and evaporate but without change of without any change of yes without any change of composition so my dear that is why this also will be coming under the thermodynamic cycle so my dear now till the, till this time you might be thinking sir whatever you were we were thinking that was same only because you guys were thinking only that ic engine cycle would be coming under mechanical now let us see ic engine cycles actually are of three types when you are talking about ic engine cycles they are of three types one is air standard cycle air standard cycles and my dear in air standard cycles we have auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle then you have fuel air cycle and at the end you have actual cycles and my dear whenever we are talking about fuel air cycles and actual cycles both these types of cycles in both fuel air and actual cycles both these types of cycle when we are talking about we are taking combustion into picture and working fluid is not air but air plus fuel and my dear combustion is also going to happen here but whenever we are talking about air standard cycle in which we have auto in which we have diesel in which we have dual they are ideal cycle why ideal my dear because here we are taking air as a working fluid and when you are taking air as a working fluid you will definitely be having the four steps as compression heat addition expansion heat taking outside yes heat absorption all all the four processes would be there but when you would be having only air no fuel there will be no combustion happening so combustion is not going to be there here so my dear how the cycle is going to be completed you know it is first of all isentropic compression then constant volume heat addition i will say okay we are saying constant volume heat addition then we are going to have say isentropic expansion and constant volume heat rejection so combustion is not going to happen in this why because when you are taking air as an ideal fluid then my dear air will be present no fuel is there so there is no point of combustion so we are going to add heat and that is why whenever we are going to show this ideal auto cycle ideal diesel cycle or ideal dual cycle ideal means we are taking only air as working fluid and because air is the working fluid no combustion is happening so my dear its chemical composition will not be changing throughout the cycle and if chemical composition will not be changing we will be using the same air again and again so whenever these kind of cycles are denoted there is one process which is made by dotted line and they are writing it 0 to 1 why dotted because this we are going to do only once because the same air after that is going to be there and you can see it is clockwise because it is power producing cycle so 0 to 1 my dear when we are talking about 0 to 1 is the process when you will be adding the air so my dear fuel you are not adding so the same working fluid is going to be repeated again and again why it is going to be repeated again and again because there is no change in composition okay so that is the reason behind that so my dear first of all your misconception should not be there auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle are also thermodynamic cycle carnot cycle all the cycle are thermodynamic then what are mechanical cycles so my dear when we are talking about mechanical cycle now the characteristics of mechanical cycles are just opposite to thermodynamic cycle working fluid changes in every cycle composition will also be changing throughout the cycle for that my dear i will be taking the example of open breton cycle here my dear you are putting air from ambient in the compressor air after getting compressed will be going to combustion chamber this time we are not giving heat addition this time it is a combustion chamber so when combustion chamber is there here you will be adding the fuel 
and fuel and air when they will be mixing you will be having hydrocarbons plus air combustion will happen combustion will give many gases like co2 so2 co okay so these kind of things will be there and also some steam would also be there h2o so in this way many components would be present so this time chemical composition will surely be changing so now whatever you have entered as air now after this it is not going to be air it becomes gases and my dear when it will be going to turbine you will be taking work output you will be having at exit also gases so now you cannot take it and input uh, input to the compressor why because working fluids composition have been changed so why this is open cycle because every time you need to take a different working fluid a different working fluid means working fluid needs to be changed after every cycle because exit and entry compositions are different so my dear that's why open brayton cycle is an example and when we are talking about all the fuel air and actual ic engine cycles fuel air and actual ic engine cycles where we are taking fuel plus air as a working fluid those are the examples of mechanical cycles my dear why they are the example of mechanical cycle because working fluid we are going to change in every cycle and working fluid is going to change its composition throughout the cycle so guys as i have said that fuel air cycle and actual cycles how they are working is let us take an example you know in ic engine cycles when we are talking about actual cycles how the things are going to happen first of all you will be having air fuel mixture will be going in the stroke intake stroke okay this is suction stroke then my dear fuel air mixture would be compressed in the compression stroke then ignition happened combustion happened and a pressure wave is generated with power stroke you will be getting the work output and my dear then you will be once again going for exhaust stroke in that from exit wall exhaust gases would be going outside like here input was there for fuel air and com 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 uh, combination of fuel and air so my dear you can see this uh, gif from that you can understand what is going on first of all fuel air combination is coming from this inside and after it is compressed and my dear when it is getting compressed ignition is happening and my dear after that exhaust gases are going to be there so you can see in these four stroke how the things are happening so input was air plus fuel here and output was exhaust gases so that is why in every cycle we need air plus fuel mixture because chemical composition changes throughout the stroke as well as we need to change the working fluid in every cycle so we cannot use it again and again so this was about the mechanical cycles so my dear you can see all the air fuel cycles uh, or you can say actual cycles and open cycle brayton cycle open open brayton cycle all these are the examples of mechanical cycle so guys this was the difference between thermodynamic and mechanical cycles hope you enjoyed it so guys whenever uh, you have seen the first session about centripetal centrifugal this was second episode if you want any specific topic to be covered in upcoming episode you can mention that in the co uh, comment section and guys like this capsule we have done we will be having many capsules and those concept capsules are going to help you in your interviews at iits for mtech interviews in psus engineering services and all so guys signing off for the time and we will meet in the upcoming episode so like the session share the session and subscribe the channel so goodbye guys for the session